Hi, the uh, windshield wipers on our 2019 Nissan Leaf stopped working again this weekend. I suspect it's because my wife turned the wipers on when there was a lot of uh, heavy snow on the windshield. Um, anyways, I suspect that uh, bent the linkage and uh, I had to fix it. Uh, so here's a quick video. I figured I might as well record it while I'm uh, fixing it. Um, I hadn't actually planned on recording until I was kind of started disassembling after, so you'll see that it's already kind of disassembled. Uh, best thing to do, I, as strange as it sounds, watch the whole video once and then you'll see how to reassemble, well, which will kind of show you how to disassemble it. A uh, couple of quick notes, uh, you'll notice that the light can goes out at the end. I uh, didn't even think about it. I work in the garage, in the underground parking of a garage and there's no plug, so I bring a uh, battery pack and inverter to run my light, but uh, the battery pack died. Only noticed that after. Anyways, I hope this is helpful. Again, sorry for the poor quality. I really just want to fix it for myself, but figure it might be useful for somebody. Um, honestly, taking out the linkage was super easy. I had done a previous video where I kind of tried to fix the linkage without cranking it out. Way easier to take it out, so I'll just follow the, the steps on this one. Hope this helped. Thanks. Hello everyone, I decided to do another video again because I'm having wiper problems again. Um, you'll see that I've actually already started, but I figure I'd show you guys a few of the steps I did. So the wipers basically get stuck in the vertical, vertical position. I can kind of move them manually, but they don't work well. And then they spring right back to the vertical. So something's wrong. Anyways, uh, so to get to the, to the wiper motor, what you have to do is there'll be two little pop clips right here. I'm already taking them out. They'll basically put a screwdriver in here, lift it up, and then I'll pop out. And then there's going to be one on this side. Same thing. You can see the hole here. Lift the screwdriver. Once you take those out, there's four little clips that go one, two, uh, three, and four right there. So you take those out. Finally, you need to take out, you can't really see it because it's already out, but right here, there's a piece of plastic. You can see the one on the other side as well. Hopefully you can see that. That's kind of hard to see, but basically under the roof line right there, there's a piece of mold. So you got to take both of those out. Once you have those out, what you have to do is take out the hex nuts that are holding the wipers. This is a 14 millimeter. This you just unscrew it, unscrew it on that side. Once you did that, you kind of jiggle it. It'll pop off like this. Set that aside. And then we do the other one, which you guys have already done, so you kind of have to, sorry, jiggle it, it'll pop off. Once it pops off, set it aside. All right, so once you have these, you can actually take this whole piece of trim here. Uh, there, I mean, you'll notice I actually took off this piece right here. I don't think you actually need to take that one off. It just snaps on, snaps off. But I figured it was easier if I took it off because I was kind of wasn't sure what I was doing. Now, uh, you'll see here, there's the line for the uh, um, washer fluid. You can probably pull this apart. Um, I didn't bother. I'm just going to lift it up and set it aside, as you'll see. So really, once it's undone everywhere, this will just lift up. And then, keep in mind that you've got slack over there. You can, uh, what was it? You can just lift it up and expose the wiper motor right here. As you can see, I've already disconnected the connector for it. I've also taken out the three bolts, one, two, and three over here, which use a 10 millimeter bolt, and that will let you take off the motor itself. And this is what we want now in mind. If I just touch, the motor is actually pretty warm because it's been warm, it's been kind of busy force. Once I lift it off, I'll show you the problem, or at least what I think the problem is. Right here on the underside, this is bent. I don't think this should be touching, and it's also catching this bolt. I think that's what's preventing it. I think it's supposed to actually go circular motion all the time. Obviously, it can't go past this point, it gets kind of locked. A lot of times, these little nut things will pop off for whatever reason they didn't pop off this time which i guess is actually kind of worse because it kind of burnt out the motor um hopefully when i put it back in the motor is gonna be uh okay what i'll do now is i'll probably put down the phone see if i can use pliers just to straighten this piece out you can kind of see this is not like a natural angle it's probably supposed to go flat across over this nut so that this spins with the motor anyways let's uh go get a wrench and i'll try that actually i'll pause the video get a wrench come right back 
pay again. So I simply use these guys here. I couldn't film it while I was doing it because I didn't have a third hand. But basically, if you look right here, now this is clearly above the other two. Um, as you can see, it also wobbles, which is kind of good. If I increase it, probably increase it. But really, I just tried to make this straighter. It might have to go a little bit more, I'm not sure. But really, this looks better. I suspect that, I can't spin the motor, but I suspect if I could, it would uh, spin freely now. What I'll actually try to do is I'll put, plug it back in and see what happens when I just turn on the motor. Give me a second, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I've only put like one bolt that you can see right here, just to hold it in place. But now you can see that when the wiper is on, which I have on intermittent spin, it's able to clear. And that was the problem before. It just was uh, catching that piece that was bent. So it looks like we're okay. I'm a little bit disappointed actually that the pop things didn't pop right off, but really they gave me a chance to kind of open this up. As you can see now, everything seems to be working okay. I'll close everything back up, put the trim back on. Maybe I'll try to show you the trim piece better uh, later on. All right, so now I put this bolt, this bolt and that bolt back on over here, uh, just so you can see how you reattach it. I've, this is already fastened. Uh, just out of curiosity, um, a few people have mentioned that you should put a strut cover, plastic strut cover, you can 3D print them or buy them. And you can see here, there's actually water sitting here and there's a lot of rust actually. So that's one thing I should do. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have them with me, so I can't do it today, but really it looks like you should do that. I think just out of curiosity, the other side I think is dry. So you can see, well, it's not dry actually. There's a little bit of water, but there's a lot less rust on it. I don't know why. I don't know if it manages to leak out. But anyways, I just thought I'd mention that as well. So it sounds like this is a pretty useful thing to do. Uh, you can see there is some rust. This is a 2019, so the car is uh, about four and a half years old rather than there. I think it was an early, uh, it was a, I should say late 2018 purchase in 2019, uh, for 2019. Anyway, so we're here. Now I'll continue with the trim. All right, so continuing with the trim, the next thing is, I'll move aside these pliers. This basically goes up here. I'm trying to do this holding the camera. Basically like that, like so. Uh, you gotta line up all your little notches. It's not lined up on the other side, so let me go over there. Okay, I can see that it's not lined up here. You got some debris. Um, yeah, okay, so I think it's pretty good right there. Um, I will pause the video and go get the fasteners which are in the trunk, so give me a sec. All right, so I'm back. So here are my fasteners. There's these two little round ones that go at the end, and then the four rectangle square ones go in the middle. And in case you're curious, these two are just the caps to go on the actual board of your arms. I'll put those on later. So basically, let's see if I can do this holding the camera. If not, I'll have to put it down again. So this guy here, to make sure he's oops, standard, switch hands, three, two seconds. This guy here, we'll line up, and can find the hole. There we go, I got it in, and then you push it down. I'll try the other one because I think it's harder if you don't line these up first. So give me a bear with me. There we go. So again, I don't know if you can see that well, and I look at the camera at the same time, but you have to line him up, which he's not lined up right. There we go, now we got it right there. He will, oops, except I squished him down. So he goes right in here, it's a little round hole. I can get in, I think I can't get in. Hold the camera, I might have to put the camera down. Sorry about my arm. Oops, sorry, I'll just pause for you, so I'll put the camera down. All right, sorry about that. I'm not sure where I stopped taping, but anyways, I got the little screw in there and then you just push it in, you hear click. So that's how that goes. And these guys are quite easy. They're shaped like this. Hopefully you can see this. No, that doesn't help. Two seconds, I gotta pick it up off the ground. Okay, sorry about that. So these guys just go where the rectangles are. And if you look at it close, you can see this squeeze it at the end to clamp it. Uh, when you're putting it on, you probably just slide it on. You don't need to squeeze. The squeeze is when you take them off. Oops. Stepping on stuff here. All right, this guy, again, you hold it by the end where it squeezes and just slide it on. There we go. 
another one right here. I'm sorry, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Sorry for that. There we go. And then the last but not least, we will go uh, right here. Oh, might be easier to see it there. So there's one, there's the other one, there's the other one, and there's the other one. All right, so we've done this on. Now the next part is the actual trim pieces that go around the windshield. Now I laid them out on the ground right here. I don't know if you can see that well. There's a piece here that I'll pull with my foot. That goes in the end. This guy goes at the end of the dash. This is that piece in the middle. I was saying, oh, I'm not sure if I need to dig it off. I do it off anyways. The other side, and then the matching one right with that black thing. All right, so let's see if I can put these on holding the camera. So, go over here. Now, of course, I don't know which side is which. I believe this is the right side. Bear with me. All right, so this goes basically right here along the windshield. Let's see if I have them on the wrong side. I wouldn't be surprised if I do, as they do go on one specific side. And I think it is the wrong side. Give me a sec. Yeah, it looks like it's a right way though. Uh, no, maybe not. Okay, give me a sec. I'll pause again, figure this out, and come back. All right, sorry about that. I definitely have them the right one, wrong way. So if you look at this piece, you'll see there's a little... Oops. Oops, if I hold the piece. That notch goes in there. So I had it on the wrong side. Then you'll see kind of like these grooves, these snap onto the side. So basically... Thing. This is actually a hole right here. Can you see that? It fits onto this piece here. So you slide it on so it grabs and you pull up. So that down here, see if you can see that. If we get the right angle, this will just go into it and then it snaps into the frame like that. I'll try it on the other side, show you again. So here's the piece. Might not focus, unfortunately. Bring it up. If you want. This little notch piece at the bottom, this little piece with the hole at the top, put it against your windshield, and then this little hole piece, yeah, you can kind of see that, it just slides on, like so, slides up, then I line the notch at the bottom. If I can see it, it's kind of hard to see in here. Oops, not quite far enough, okay. Goes there, and then this just pulls on. There you go, you heard that click. So now we've got these two trim pieces. Then I'll put this middle one, which is right here. Sorry if it's not focusing well. This just goes right in the middle. I don't know why you'd actually use this. Uh, one thing I can tell is that the serial number shows up back there, or the VIN, I should say, shows up back there. So if you're curious, take this piece off. You see there's two snaps. That shows your VIN. And last but not least is this, these two pieces. So, sorry, they're not focused on the lights, uh, not able to focus on the ground here. Oh, this is pretty low light, but this is what these pieces look like. And these just fit there. It's basically on top of where I was saying you could put the uh, strut tower plastic covers here. So clearly it doesn't go this way, it goes this way, I think. So this part goes there, over here, and then you just push it in. It's pretty easy. Pull it out and just go like that. Let's get the one on the other side. All right, so right here, again, you kind of line up. Oops, I probably didn't see that, but line up so the two notches, sorry, my hand's in the way, so you can switch hands to do this. Two notches are there, goes under, this guy too, like that, and then it just snaps in. And this, these two are very easy to All right, so now we've got everything but the wiper arms. So I'll go get those next. I'll pause two seconds, go get them, and come back. All right, so I placed the passenger side on. Basically, it just sits right there onto this uh, nut. Uh, what I really should have done is used a pen or a marker or something to, to make put a mark exactly where it was. But it's not really hard to readjust later, so I'll just leave it as is. So now that's like that. You take the nut. And put it back on the screw or stud, I should call it. I'll finger tighten this. I'll probably actually finger tighten and then see for the fit in it. So let's see if I can do the second one. Hey, my light came off. Yeah. All right, sorry about that. You guys get to have a little bit more dark because it looks like my bulb will burn. Right. So again, the second guy goes like this. Sorry, I lost my light so you guys don't get great lighting in here, but basically you put it on and then if I had put marks on, I would have 
know where to line up, like that's not the right spot. I can tell just by looking at it. So this might actually be okay. So I put it on here, sorry. Get my nut. And you're tightening first. Now the reason I'm just finger tightening is because I really just want to test it out to see how it lines up. So let's go inside the car, turn on this thing. Oh, uh, I think my car shut off. Get off? Yeah, I think it's shut off. Whoops, bear me a second and I'll start the car again. I didn't like being sitting, not running for so long. I think I have to get the keys closer. Sorry about this part. All right, there we go. All right, so now we got the ready coming on. Oh, uh, you know what I think I did? I think they were, uh, if you remember, when I took them off, they were vertical. And I think it wants to be vertical. So I'll have to readjust those to put them in the vertical position. Because uh, just looking at it really fast, it doesn't look like it's going in the right direction. I'll uh, switch that around and come right back. All right, scratch what I said about the uh, vertical position. I think the problem is this is really just a pressure fit or like basically pressures the arm onto the stud and if you don't tighten it long enough it just doesn't have enough pressure to uh, spin the, the uh, wiper arms. Probably, I suspect if I had lifted up the wiper blade so that they're not actually touching the windscreen it would have been fine but if there's any pressure on them they don't go. So let's try this again. So let's uh, turn the wipers on. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now what all I really care about since I didn't do my marks is checking to see the uh, coverage but actually I'm pretty happy with that so let's say that's good so turn that off all right so basically I think you uh, get the idea um, take off the wiper arms with these two 14 mil nuts remove them with that sometimes you have to pry them up and down a bit kind of like force them so they pop off uh, actually first you should take off put these little caps I'm gonna put back on now so this is the first step you should do these caps come off they're quite easy to it off just by doing this and give me a second. All right, and then uh, once you have these arms off, you take off these two little pins each end, and then the four circlips, pull the whole thing off, take the motor out, restate your arm, and that's about it. Hope this helps.